I am really, really good at making money. And this is a story of when I realized the true value of that. A story that changed my life. My name is Eric Bergman. I just turned 30 and I'm from Sweden. I come from a very ordinary family. I grew up having everything I needed, but I went to the rich and fancy school, but not being rich and fancy, which made me feel like the poor kid and something that had a big impact on my self-esteem and the way I viewed life. So this early on gave me a big hunger for money. After graduation, I started running companies and about two years ago, my first company went public. I made $15 million in one day on my 28th birthday. And it just felt amazing. I mean, the poor kid was now the rich kid and oh, it felt like I had everything I've ever wanted. This was a feeling that lasted for about two weeks. Then I started feeling uninspired and unmotivated and just lost. Was this all there was? Then my friend Emil introduced me to this charity project called IT for Children. It's a project in Ghana in Western Africa about teaching kids to use computers. At first, I wasn't very emotionally engaged, but I still felt like, okay, I'm looking for something. I want to do this. And they needed $13,000 to build a school. So I donated those money. It wasn't until January last year that I really understood the value of that. We went down there on a trip to just visit and see what this project was all about. And this trip completely changed my way of seeing things. I didn't know anything about Ghana. It's a country in the southwestern Africa. I flew down there. It was a very bumpy plane ride. We got picked up by a crazy cab driver and driven to this village called Busua. It's a small village in south of Ghana with about 3,000 people. And I remember when I stepped out of this cab and it hadn't seen anything like this before this. This was Africa. And the first thing that hit me was a smell I hadn't felt before. It was a mix of dirt, farm animals, and, and the ocean. It wasn't a bad smell. It was just a very special smell. And I looked around and I saw houses of mud and some sheds of steel and some houses of concrete. Everywhere was chickens and goats running around and I felt like this is something new. So the first evening we just sat there, we spoke about the journey and what we were expecting from everything. But it was the next day that turned out to be the day that really changed my life. I haven't even seen our school in the picture before and when we came there, the, my first feeling was like, this is like a war zone. It was worn out, gray concrete buildings. They had steel bars for the windows. It felt depressing. But then I saw our building and our building was a splash of colors. It was yellow, green and red and it just felt happy. Something in this moment just felt right. Then we got to be part of class and our class started outside of the official school hours. So it was completely voluntary, but still there was a big line of kids just waiting for the class to start. And it turned out that we had to deny kids because there were more kids that wanted to take the class than we had computers. I mean, imagine kids that really want to learn. I never felt that when I went to school, but this was something else. And in the classroom, we got to see what they were learning. And these kids in the first class, they had never seen a computer before. First lesson is, this is an electric cable. You plug it into the wall. This is an unbutton. You 
press it to start the computer. And now they were Googling, they were looking for information on Wikipedia, they were putting the information into spreadsheets in Excel and writing down what they were doing in Word. Just seeing how they learn and feeling that they really wanted to learn, I felt like, I want to contribute to this. I want to see this happen. But it wasn't until later that day that things really turned for me. I was talking to Torsten, who is the main guy behind this project. And he told me that all the other teachers in the other school buildings could borrow our classroom whenever they wanted, because during the day we weren't there. But it wasn't one condition. That in our school building, you never hit the kids. And this gave me a very strong feeling. For me, it was so obvious that you never hit kids. But here, it wasn't obvious. In the gray buildings, the kids got hit. In the gray buildings, the kids had to be afraid. But in our splash of colors, the kids were safe. The kids wanted to learn and the kids had fun. I felt right there that I want the world to be a splash of colors. I want the world to be a place where people are happy and where people are safe. So after this trip, I started thinking about what's the best way for me to contribute. How can the world become that place? I started engaging myself in various projects. I started reading up on things, but I felt like this is not what I do best. What I do best is making money. I should make money but I should give everything away. Every little penny. So I've quit my job. I quit everything with my previous business and I'm all in on this. I spent $900,000 on just a name. I know that this is going to be amazing. This is going to be great.com. A truly controversial charity about making money and giving it away.